Because on the way up, we was listening to a football game and got stopped by the police. <laughs> That's why you were late. He never told me why you were late. <laughs> we had that blue Reliant K, and it was full of people. I remember it was just jammed with people. I wasn't paying any attention. I was listening to the football game. It was a BYU football game. We were all snatched in there. The policeman pulled us over, and that was probably why we were So there. all these years, she's been mad at Brad. But it's <laughs> <laughs> and it was cute. The little couple of Stevens, son of Stevenson. Stevenson. Ruth and Ruth and Harold. Oh. Oh. Ruth and Harold. Ruth and Harold. They were our es well, not escorts, but assigned. Oh. They were the temple oh. workers assigned to us. That See, they day. asked, I'm sure. I'm sure. sure. Yeah. And I, yeah. I mean, she always just the sweetest thing to yeah. me. Lovely. Anyway, and so I walked in the door, and they said, "Oh, Sister Stevenson will be," and that was just. And she kept patting my hand. He'll be here. I'm like, okay, I'm not really worried. Well, I mean, she I, knew I, it very well. Yeah, so. She just kept saying, he'll be here. He'll be here. <laughs> so, anyway, but mine was the only wedding that my dad went to. Ours was the only wedding. Oh, that yeah. Isn't that neat? That, that is was neat. There. Yeah. So, that was awesome. We had gone through the temple in May as a family. Oh. And then we got married in November. Wait, that's neat. When did he go through? May. That's when he went and then he all went. Were you dating Brad at the time? Well, he dated for years. A couple of years. But not obviously serious, serious enough that he was there. Right. He didn't try that Oh, you were talking after. How did he ask you to marry him? I don't remember that story. Um, cool. We went to what? Up to Coit Tower, and he had San Francisco. He said, "Just well, do it. We've been <laughs> dating for all this time." In San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. up to Coit Tower. Huh? Yeah. He fun to hear. Rode the scooter up to Coit Tower, and he, he pulled a rose out of the front little. There's a little compartment in front of the scooter. And pulled a rose out and asked me to marry him. Did he? Didn't have a ring. We went and got a ring later. You know, we went and chose. Did he want ring. you to pick it up? Is that why? Like? Yeah. So we went. There was a diamond, like a jewelry market, south of market in San Francisco. So we went and looked at rings, and but it was after he'd asked me to marry him. So. And he, I would never probably have bought the di the band with all the diamonds in it. I just wanted a gold band, but he's like, no. So he picked out. This one with all the inset this? diamonds. This is Brad's. That's his wedding ring. Yeah. No, oh, it's that's, huge. But that's why he had the other two. But she is. has a gold band that's thick. I, I do have thing. one. He gave it to me for our tenth anniversary because mine. I couldn't get my own. <coughs> I was so trying to get them resized. Yeah. I've had them resized a couple of times. That's and they're very really expensive. thin. The bands are super thin. Right. So yeah, I'd have to add more gold to it, it if they're going to do it again. Oh, that would be bigger, but... So, anyway, I can't put the bandy <coughs> gold on. It's too small. Oh. It, just the, mm -hmm. our 10th anniversary. And I have a tr trouble getting these down. Yeah, I shouldn't have made you take them off. Mm -hmm. No, it's, I had well, taken them off that night. Well, you should anyway. be able to take them off I for your finger. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 